30 or 40? No, no, no. I was beating you guys. Zero? You guys are winning? I'll hold you to that. Showtime! Why are you laughing? How many f***ing trade balls does the f***ing man have? If you guys allow the game to be a six point game to get the team, that should not even be close. You need to get in the weight room. You're too small. I wish I was out there. I'd have 80 right now. You guys feel good to be up 12 points. That's embarrassing. Try that, please. Yeah. No one scored on it. This episode, my AAU team played at Durham Playground where we competed in the CYBL session. We're gunning for the championship in this league and trying to go undefeated along the way. This episode is crazy, so stay tuned and watch what happens. Shout out Xyz for getting us outfitted in the best jerseys possible, best track suits, shooting shirts, everything y'all can think of, we're outfitted in now. Shout out Xyz for getting us right. On this episode and future episodes of Who's Got Next Season 2, I'm going to be introducing y'all to members of Team Got Next. And to kick things off, let me introduce you guys to Coach Jamal. Hey, hey, Zay! They won tip. Listen, they won tip and made the first layup of the game. So I'll take their ball. Ref, ref, ref! Coach Jamal, former Hooper, is widely known around the city for being one of the most exciting and entertaining coaches. Let's lock here, let's work there, Olu! I don't understand why we're begging for calls and oh, why is he blowing the whistle? Don't beg for no f***ing whistle, just do what we have to do. You guys allow the game to be a six-point game against a team that should not even be close. Work on me, work on three, one, two, three, work. Hell no. Yo. Yep. Showtime! So I pulled up a little bit late for the game, but as y'all can see, Jamal held it down. But listen, showed up a little late, it's okay. We're gonna be here tomorrow, we're gonna catch some more footage. I wanted to introduce you guys to my new AAU team. They're mic'd up right now. I'm gonna be coaching on the sideline. It's very, very new to me, but y'all are gonna see MK coaching. I have to learn a lot about coaching. He's taking on the head coach role. I have to learn how to be a good assistant coach. Yo, Jamal, yo, Jamal. Yo, should be mad if I got a tech? Okay, he wouldn't be mad. Let's, let's go crazy now. I'm about to coach. Now, this was officially the first time I coached my AAU team. I didn't really know what to expect. I definitely had a lot to get used to. Why are you missing dunks? Why are you missing dunks? Why are you laughing? The guy's not f***ing making dunks. That's f***ing suicides tomorrow. Real Swizzy, if you're watching this, f***ing suicide. Learning how to talk to the players. I've seen these guys on the sidelines, but I've never been on the bench with them. He practices that shot every day. Get on your teammates to grab that shot. It was definitely a new experience, and. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! I liked it. I like coaching them a lot. What the f was that? What the f was that? What the f was that? Take the backwards. Another one! Another one! Good, good. Oh my god. The best part initially about coaching was that I found I can talk on the sidelines and I don't even have to back it up. You're actually too small for him. So I started talking a little bit of shit and having some fun with it. Yo, 24. You need to get in the weight room. You need to get in the weight room. You're too small. You're too little. I can't hear you. Oh my God, that was tough. That was very tough. Let's finish. Let's finish. Don't let him shoot. How many trade balls does the man have? It's not even for content. The game was close up until Zayden Cross caught fire. Thank you, thank you. That's what we want. We want to scare these guys. Yeah. Oh my God, another one? Stop it, stop it. I give you the blessing. I give you the blessing. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. This dude really hit four straight tray balls in the third quarter to give us a comfortable lead going into the fourth. That's how you coach a team these days. You let them go crazy. You coach a team like how you play 2K, period. We have to get back to transition, right? We're really killing us in transition. Our defense is terrible. Coaching dynamic between me and Jamal is definitely different, but I really, really like coaching alongside him. 
After Zayden hit those threes, I knew that all we had to do to secure the dub was lock up on defense. And you know Drew Robinson is definitely stepping up to that challenge. First game, you playing all right. Play some defense though. Drew Robinson is a character on and off the court. Standing at about 6'7", he's super athletic and he's got a shot on him. That walk. That walk. Well, I got a next because, you know, I can lock up any player, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can expect a lot of great things from me as a player this season, you know. I lock in every game, I don't call me, shoot on you. He is perfect for Team God Next, and he's probably one of the best guard forwards in Canada. Yo! Good shit, good shit. Game over. Came in halftime, check on my team, we got the dub, did a little bit of coaching. Tomorrow, we're back at it. If you guys videos, you guys rock with, you know, the AAU series, comment down below, I'll keep coaching. But look, what team is gonna beat us? We want all the smoke, we're the best AAU team in the world. See y'all tomorrow. All right, man, day two, we're out here. Head coach MK, I'm in my coaching drip. All right, I got the TGN track suit. Shout out, Xyz. Even the backpack, we got TGN on the backpack. But look, we got a game at 2.30, core three, CYBL. I don't know who exactly we're playing, but all I know is it's gonna be big dubs. I'm predicting a 20 point win. 20 point, 30 point win. But hey, y'all are f***ing with the series, y'all are f***ing with the AU team, the coaching, all that. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Let's get to the game. I'm gonna be talking my f***ing getting these players' heads. Let's get it. Going into the second playing? game, you know I had to talk my yeah. beforehand. Oh, we're gonna 30 you guys. You don't think? Game, right? 30 or 40? For, for me? No, no, no. I was beating you guys. Uh, no words, all right? Yeah. Zero? You guys are winning? I'll hold you to that. What's up, boy? You good? Yeah. Yeah, bro. The biggest spot was that, bro. The jerseys are so saucy. What the f? The white ones are saucy. Actually? Swear to God, you want the ones. Yo, yo, he wants the ones. I swear to God, I will kill you in the ones. I will ref, kill you I in the ones. I bring the ref through the off arm. Yes. Or I run twos. Coaching staff versus them. Throughout the series, y'all are going to get to know Coach Jamal very, very well. He's built this team to be one of the best teams in the city. And he's only 23 years old. We're going to be jointly coaching Team Got Next. And the thing yeah, is, yeah. he's with it all. Big and he's the football. best coach for the job. The They're not going anywhere. Good oh, my God. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Let's run, let's run. Make a play, make a play. Good pass. You gotta lay that. Wet ball. Oh, make the layup. As talented as we are, there's a lot of things that this team needs to work on. We need to work on getting back on defense 100%. Sometimes they get lazy. What the f bro? Make your and we have really, really slow starts where the other team will get going, go on three point runs, go on transition runs. You better hit that. Now the question is, how do we fix that? Good block, boy. What? Where? Bro. Where? Oh my Lord, I already know the other ref called that. Cause he's never jumped in his life. Look, we're playing like garbage. We're missing layups. They're gonna turn up. We didn't have a warm up yet. We literally didn't have any layup lines, nothing. So it's hard. I had to take off my shirt. I'm getting, getting heated in here. That's a warm up for sure. That was the warm up, man. Now it's turn up, right? 14, 14, it's turn up. Like the game was tied going into the second quarter, and we desperately needed someone to step up. Jay Swizzy did just that. Jaden Witter Watts, also known as Swizzy in Toronto, is the chosen one. That's all I gotta say. Like where I'm from, nobody really makes it out. You stick to the streets, that's what you're doing for life. This was like my other way out. He's one of the best players that I've ever seen play at his age. And let's just say this kid can do it all. When I get on that court, it's a problem. You better stop playing. Four, three, two, thank you. 
he'll dunk on someone if you want him to. He'll pull out an East Bay in game if he wants to. I'm trying to go to the NBA. Like, why can't that be me? Stand on the 25 wide open all the time. Don't do that. I'm have to swing the ball. Get the bucket then. Okay then. I need somebody to like do something. I need him to get crazy. Man. If you need him in crunch time, he's gonna deliver, and he walks that walk. Hey, hey. little man. Get that shit out of there, bro. At the end of the third, we were up a comfortable 15 points and were a few possessions away from delivering the knockout blow. Zayden Cross gladly volunteered to do the honors. L Mans, fam. L Mans. Fam, ask Swizzy, ask Swizzy. All they do is. All I do is beef. Zayden Cross is one of the best to do it at his age group. Sharp shooter, super athletic, everything you need in a shooting guard. Put a hand up. He's gonna get those steals. He's gonna bring up his teammates at the same time. This kid can really do it all. That one round. That's a hustle play. That's you. All I gotta say is try not to laugh. That's it for this episode of Who's Got Next AAU Edition. Be sure to tune in next episode where we're going to be playing our toughest opponent yet. And then you guys going to come in here and play like this? Stop with the sleep this and when you guys come, execute, fam. Play basketball. Stay tuned. This one is crazy. I can't do math, so I'm gonna do the math right here. 74 <laughs> minus 57.